current or former SX workers, what is the strangest thing a client has asked you to do? I was a strip club DJ for a bit. Had this one odd duck that would come in and pay girls like $200. 0 in a glass for him. This happened several times. Then once the girl took it to a bouncer and had him pee in it. She took it back to him. He took one sniff and said this is a man's urine left. And never came back while I worked there. Yeah. They smell different. You can tell just walking into opposite SX restrooms. This guy's obviously finely honed that knowledge. But completely reasonable. Also. She's an idiot for cheating an incredibly easy $200 deal. If you're already getting totally outrageous returns. The correct call is to do it perfectly and faithfully. Cheating when you're already way ahead is just asking to get shut down. Former prodom here. Clients wanted me to scold him in a tub until he passed out. Revive and repeat for several hours. I said hell no. Client had a fantasy about being forced into a leotard and leg warmers and forced to do jazzercise with my canes as motivation. I did that and it was awesome. I had a guy lay me out on the table. Take my shoes off. Get out a set of dental picks and mirrors and electric toothbrush. And do a dental exam on my feet. For an hour. Checking for cavities. Polishing. Flossing. Etc. I was supposed to play the whole thing straight as if it was really my teeth he was examining. Never did his penis come out of his pants. It was actually a totally great time. For bit bizarre to start. I've got so many more. But that client story is my favorite. Used to work as a stripper a few years ago. Hands down. The weirdest thing was when a guy in the VIP section bought a few dances and then asked me to step on his dick in my 7 inch stripper heels. At first I was being careful. But then after he assured me that there was no way I could hurt him. I went to town. I even threw in a few combos where I'd step on it and twirl. It was actually pretty fun. Afterwards. He bought my thong for like $50. Really fun night. Was it through the pants? Because if it was shoe to bare skin. I don't see how it wouldn't cause massive tears and bleeding. Clean their apartment. They didn't want any more strangers to enter their home. Did you hire a maid? No. I'm above paying for something like that. I had a friend who was a SX worker. My favorite story from her was a client who wanted her to stand in a corner. Facing the wall. Wearing nothing but combat boots and reading from Ulysses. To be fair that's likely how Joyce intended it to be read. I'm a cam general. As the name implies. Only saw this guy once so maybe he didn't like my art skills. Who knows. He asked me to draw on crazy eyebrows. Like stick straight pointed upwards angry brows so I did. Then I needed a clown scowl. That was enough for the face so then he had me draw fangs on my nipples. Vampire tits haha. -ha. And then lastly. A face for my PSSY. Complete with eyes. A nose. And mouth. We both had a lot of fun. I could see him and I don't think he was jerking it. Just laughing hysterically with me. Wish he'd come back. Recently had a different guy ask me to just fart. Like continuously. He didn't know that for fart PRN vids the girls literally pump their asses with air. Yeah that wasn't going to happen. I had a friend who was a phone SX operator. She's from South Carolina and has a strong southern accent. One of her callers was a black guy who wanted to be showered with racial slurs while he got off. She could only think of a few of the most obvious ones. So he had to help her along. Call me spear cooker. Comma. Call me porch monkey. Guy used to come see me every week and pay me to kick him in the balls. Hard. Repeatedly for 5-10 minutes. And I usually wore boots. He obviously loved it. He would flinch a bit. But usually asked me to kick him harder. I was apprehensive the first few times. But quickly learned that he seriously wanted me to kick him as hard as I could. If I had a stressful week dealing with assholes I would look forward to him visiting so I could take out some aggression. I had an escort service a few years ago. 
one of the clients used to come with a plastic bag and a paper bag. He would get one of the girls to hold the plastic bag while he took a dump in it. Then he'd put it in the paper bag and take it to work. He said he would then hide the bag in various spots around his law firm. Waiting for someone to find it and that was his get off. You were. A pimp? Former male escort here. Had a larger. 50ish lady asked me to snuggle with her in a rocking chair. Wanted me to suck on her nipples as if I were nursing. She stroked my hair the entire time. It was really really weird and kind of sad. Lasted for about 20 minutes. When we were done. She offered to jerk me off but I told she could do so if she wanted to. She said no. So I got dressed and went on my way. Comma I told she could do so if she wanted to. She said no. So I got dressed and went on my way. Taken by itself. I had a friend whose girlfriend worked as a SX worker. I remember them telling me that one guy would continuously ask for her to castrate him. I don't think she ever did. Not me and not an escort but I had this cute neighbor girl that worked in a SX shop. She had the usual assortment of clients but one guy came as and asked to buy her socks for like $100. I was like did you tell him where to go? Hell no she says I sold them on the spot and went barefoot the rest of the day. That night she went and bought a 20 pack from Walmart and kept them under the counter waiting for him to come back. Which he did several times. I was a cam girl for about 6 months in college. My weirdest customer wanted me to make him weekly grocery lists. Errands lists. And just general honeydew lists for things he had to do around the house. He was a young guy. Maybe 25. And actually really attractive. British. He claimed he was lonely after his fiance registered sign he moved to Belgium for a year for school. And now they were on a break. These were all the things she used to ask him to do. And now she was too busy. So every week. I'd have a private show with him. And we'd drink coffee and go over that week's list. And I'd wish him luck at work that day. It was kind of sweet. Kind of heartbreaking. A former prostitute once told me that a guy had 7 girls in a room facing the wall while he jerked off. Edit. My top comment is now about a creepy old dude at a brothel. Thanks Reddit. Created my account to post this. At my lowest point. I sold myself for SX. I needed money or I'd be on the streets. Two regulars would pay me a lot to simulate our pay. I'd scream. Cry. And try to fight back and they'd wear masks and slap me around while they'd have SX with me. Afterwards they'd always go buy me Wendy's. Eventually the tears became real tears and I had to stop. What did you get at Wendy's? Escort here. An Asian man asked me to lift my skirt so that my thigh was exposed and asked to take off my shirt. Okay normal so far I thought. Then he pulled off his pants and I was like yay it's get down time. He then proceeded to lick and kiss my right armpit and rub himself on my thigh. It took every bit of power to not burst out laughing. He came about 4 minutes later and asked me how I was doing then asked me to leave. I'm a little late to the party. But I'm a current online SX worker cam girl. I have been asked a lot of weird things during my time doing this. But I suppose the weirdest one coming to mind was being casually asked to on the floor during an otherwise vanilla s sting session. He said you can even do it on the tile for easier cleanup as if he was throwing me a bone haha. If anyone has any questions about SX work. I'd love to answer them. Edit. Get shifty. I used to do cam shows in college. Not regularly. Just here and there when I wanted a little extra money. Usually to buy MTG cards. One guy paid for a private show and asked me to take my laptop to the bathroom and completely submerge myself in water for as long as I could. I was under for maybe 45 seconds and when I came up he had left the room. I still wonder what he got out of that. Edit. Sorry to disappoint some of you. But I am a guy. Not a girl. I've been getting a lot of inbox messages from guys who are interested in meeting me. And it's not that I mind getting attention from guys. I'm B. I love getting attention from guys. 
I'm just probably not what you're looking for. It was your roommate. They just wanted you to smell better. My wife is a cam girl. Some dude wanted her to do her makeup just like another girl, of whom he provided the picture, and for me to slam a pie into her face. It was probably the most fun I've ever had making $50. I worked the front desk at a dungeon and we had a client that liked to pretend to do dental work. But on a girl's feet. Mostly as was a tickling session dressed up as a teeth cleaning, he'd use an electric toothbrush and a tiny keyboard hose vacuum. The can dare spray a thing and role play the whole thing. There's that exact story in this thread already. So weird. The comments in this thread make me wonder if people with some extra cash just get bored and mess with SX workers for laughs. Not a SX worker but have an ex-military friend who told me a story one time. They hired an escort to come over and be the banker while they played Monopoly. No talking just 300 bucks to be the banker the entire time. Complete mind he said. I thought it was pretty ingenious and. Seemingly. A good night off for the woman. A couple of times I had a young married couple who got me to jerk the man off inside the woman. As in. The guy would put his dick in the girl's PSSY. Then I would slide my hand into her PSSY around his dick. So I was sort of jerking him off and fisting her at the same time. That's literally all they wanted, in a few different positions. The guy actually had quite a large dick. Just she had a very very loose PSSY, the man could get both his hands inside her PSSY at once. They were a very young couple. Like 21 or something. So I dunno how she got to be so big, she said she hadn't had any kids. I used to date an escort. And sometimes I asked her stuff about her work. One that I remember was a guy who insisted on having scalding hot water on him. Like a few minutes after it boiled. On his back. On his chest. On his genitals. While he jerked off. Comma scalding hot water. Scalding. Unless the water was also telling him off while burning him. Not a SX worker but my ex co-worker at Black Eyed P was. She said guys would pay her to go down on them while they called their wives and had long conversations. The wives apparently didn't know. I know a part time dominatrix. She deals with a lot of adult babies. Basically having guys come round. Sit in nappies and refuse to let them go to the bathroom. Pretty weird. Definitely screams at up childhood. Another guy she's known for a few years now who lives in a different country gets off on her making him buying expensive things. She literally facetimes him for 5 minutes and gets an iPad out of it. To add strangeness to an already strange situation. She's the loveliest woman you could ever meet and you'd never guess she does this. But is also totally open about it. Long story short if you're willing you can make a ton of money from doing it up things that don't actually require you to have sx. I only did a little cam work cause I am a pretty weird niche but I once got paid $150 to just sit on Skype in lingerie and play Pokemon. Easiest money I ever made. You could get paid to do that all the time on Twitch. Don't mind me. Just cruising for ideas. I am not a SX worker myself. But I have and will continue to work closely with several to increase awareness and safety. The oddest thing I have seen was a mother pay for her son while she sat in the room and gave him pointers. Apparently she just wanted him to lean how to do it well and right. And to her credit after a few months of this twice a week he got pretty good at it. I guess he didn't want to disappoint mommy. Oh come on. Read me a bedtime story. I miss my mother you see. So how much do you charge for a nice rough shag? Semicolon. A friend of mine worked at a foot fetish place for a while and had a black blind man for a customer once. He would make her berate him with racial slurs and kick him hit him with a paddle step on him. She was not a fan. Man. Stevie Wonder really went downhill. So. Once upon a time. I had this client. I think he was a lawyer for a casino or something. Anyway. He invites me to his room. And then he wants me to put on a sailor hat. Okay I guess. Then. 
He wanted to go into a jacuzzi filled with Pepto Bismol? That's weird. He then wanted to clip my eye toenails while I shaved his ass. I said I'd charge him 3 grand for it. Then a whole bunch of people came out of hiding in the room. Apparently they had a betting pool on how much I'd charge. My girlfriend is a prostitute and she's done some weird stuff. Apparently a lot of guys are into pain. She's punched clients in the balls. Bit them until she broke skin and even put out lit cigarettes on them. All per their request of course. She's been on. Ed on. And a train on. You name it and she's probably done it. My only real issue though. Is that she never charges them. Not a SX worker. But a Verizon wireless customer care agent. A middle aged woman called in one night to ask to describe how mp3 players function and just to talk about them in general. At first I assumed it was a prank call. But her tone was dead serious. She started breathing really heavy while asking me to describe what I think would be the perfect mp3 player. From the color of it. To the memory capacity. She augsmed when I told her that the mp3 player was made by JVC. She ended the call crying thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry then hung up. It was one of the strangest conversations I have ever had in my life. I legitimately felt bad for the lady as I assumed she had a mental disorder. I also felt bad that I had three other people listening in on the call laughing their asses off. He's making me answer questions on a popular user generated content aggregation site. Not me but a friend of mine. He was paid $5,000 to eat nothing but corn for an entire week. Then at the end of the week he had on the guy's chest. He did it and guy started to use it to jerk off with. Friend ran into the bathroom and started to throw up. Till this day refuses to eat corn. Former cam girl here. There was a lot of men who want to be humiliated. I would laugh at them. Tell them how small their penis was. Etc. Some man wanted me to blackmail him. He would give me his information, address, phone number, wife's name, and I would make him buy me things. The weirdest one though was the guy who wanted me to watch him take her in his diaper. That's it. Just watch. I worked as a prostitute for about 15 months. I learned very quickly that if clients had unusual or very niche interests it could often make the booking go a lot easier. Generally anything that involved the client wanking himself off was good. Because it saved me from needing to have sx with them. Any more than I had to. Clients were often very bad at articulating what it was they wanted me to do. And I'd kind of have to figure it out for myself. One client liked to watch me work out. Typically I'd get on the runner and he'd wank himself off while he watched. Another client could spend hours watching me shuffle around with my knickers around my ankle. One bit of advice that another woman gave me was to always look like you're not into it. If you look like you don't want to do it, guys are turned on more. I had an older prostitute, so mid to late 20s. Comma tell me when she first started years ago she had a guy request to pay fantasy but he was so rough and aggressive it basically ended up being a real one and disregarded the safety word and because she was new to the industry she just took it. It was sort of sad. I admit I sort of have similar messed up fantasies myself but I have a bit more self control than to go as far as the guy did. That said if you think about it what the guy did. A lot of people in this age seem to have a very open. Anything goes attitude towards SX. Cool. Do what you will. But then that attitude seems to pervade the concept of SX work too. And it's stories like this one that really make me upset at the whole idea of SX work being this borderline innocuous. Even empowering thing to do. I feel like some young girls are gonna peruse this thread and get it in their heads that escort work is just the thing for them. The ship has probably already sailed on this thread but. I've worked on and off as a cam girl for years and the strangest was definitely the guy who wanted me to talk about beating up his mother while I flexed and crushed plastic bottles with my thighs. Former pro dom here. Lots of crazy stories but my favorite was when a guy paid $350 HR for a couple girls to blindfold him and watch him attempt to hit a pinnator and make fun of him. Was probably the most enjoyable session I ever had there. 
this should get interesting. I'll be back to check on this in an hour. With my dick out. You to SX worker. It. Nothing I asked. Do any of you escorts find your clients genuinely attractive? Does this change the price? About a year ago I was FWB with a girl who would do that for extra money. I never paid her for it though. She told me her biggest horror story was this rich guy, drove a new Escalade and was wearing a very nice looking suit, who offered her $1.000 to him with a strap on the size of her arm as hard and violently as possible. Until he finished. Then make him clean the strap on with his tongue, yes it is covered in fesses. And yes he ate it, and having her whip him if he slowed down. I asked her if he has ever called her back. She told me yes and she told him no. That she had never been so disgusted in her life. I'm a waiter at a ladies club. Where men get undressed for women. I had a lady ask me if she could step on my toes whilst I called her a dirty bitch for $100 I turned it down. I had a guy call me to just put some stuff around the room like it was mine. Like a hairbrush. A small clock. And some old tie worn out book. He didn't want me to use it. Though. Then he told me to wait until he fell asleep then slam the bathroom door loud enough to wake him. My wife's friend used to be an escort and one of the weirdest things she said was that the guy sat in a chair and wanked himself silly while she stood on the arms of the chair and ate all over him. Apparently he looked like the old guy with the bat moustache from Monsters University. I feel real sorry for the person who stayed in that hotel room afterwards. I remember this show on HBO. I forget the name of it but I think it was Cat House or something. About the first real SX house in Nevada or some. Anyway they'd showcase the workers in the house and sometimes show SX. One time they were interviewing this lady about the strangest thing a client had asked her to do. And her response was disturbing. Apparently this guy would come in and ask for her to on some of his finest china. And pee into a really fancy wine glass. And he would chow down as if it was a three course meal. Always stuck with me. I was 18 and I was a sugar baby. I had been meeting up with a guy for a while. He was probably in his 50s. He asked me to be his slave. He told me he would pay me a certain amount each month if I was obedient and did what I was told. Basically he wanted me to dress a certain way. Act a certain way. And his friends for free. He wanted me to wear a dog collar and no bra when I was in public and I was not allowed to wear clothes when I was in his house. It didn't last very long. He basically wanted me to be his own personal SX slave. He was into BDSM and at one point he tied me down to the bed and proceeded to spank and whip and hit me so hard I feared for my life. After reading this sub. I actually feel less normal for not having strange and unusual fantasies. Currently dating a cam girl here. She's told me some stories about some of her weirder clients. One in particular was a man who had apparently fell in love with his wife's best friend and wanted her to dress in street clothes that resembled what his wife's best friend would normally wear and just pretend to sit down and have dinner with him. Nothing else is all. Just do. As he described. Whiffy things. He would never show his face on cam. I feel really sorry for that guy. There was another guy who would pay for a private session and just get faced and ask her to watch him as he fell asleep. A a thread for me. I'm current SX worker. I've been asked to pretend to be physically disabled for a video before. I politely declined. Sugar baby here. I get paid for toenail clippings and used socks. I also get paid to be super mean to guys. This one guy took me shopping at the mall and spent like $700 on me. The only thing in return he got was the chance to carry my bags. A friend of mine used to date a girl who did webcam shows. One time. Someone paid for a private session. She's on webcam with him. And he requests for her to. Ignore him. So apparently she just sat in front of the camera acting like he wasn't there. Not really doing anything. Apparently that was one of the easiest clients she's ever had.